Hello, my name is Peter Leach. I'm 23 years old and I'm a full-time student at Valencia College here in Orlando, Florida. I've got pretty good experience when it comes to mud races. Well, mud runs, adventure races, no one can really give it a correct title. But essentially, I run five of them each time, getting a little bit better every time. Uh, the ones that I've enjoyed the most is Savage Race, Spartan Race, so on and so forth. What I love about mud runs is, is you get this competitive atmosphere, this energy of everybody all with the same goal make it through the race. That's why I'm always participating in them, always training for them, because it's it's a whole atmosphere of just striving to overcome things that you didn't think you could. Jumping over a 10 foot wall, crawling through a mud that you never would expect that you think you could, all of it's worthwhile, and that's why I participate in them. Eh, CrossFit bastards. Yeah, they think they're all that in a bag of potato chips. I'm certainly not gonna fork over 150 bucks a month just so I can climb up that guy's rope flip over that guy's tire, and then crawl over that homemade wall, I'm gonna save that 150 bucks, and I'm gonna build my own damn wall, buy my own damn rope, and do it all for myself. You know what, being a poor college student, I would love to have the money to pay for the, the fancy gyms, to pay for the, the CrossFit training, or a personal trainer. But you know what, sometimes you just gotta be creative how you get through life, whether it be simply, you know, finding your own training area, whatever creative way you can. Training for these obstacle course races is a difficult task because the very elements themselves combine against you. For instance, you get peppered by sand, water, and most of all, lots of mud. What do I do to exercise? Well, I mainly exercise here, Lake Underhill. It's got about a mile and a half around. It's got all the stuff you need for calisthenics. You got monkey bars, you got pull-up bars, you got crunches. Pretty much you got most of your bases covered here. But on top of that, I go to the gym about three times a week just to make sure my upper body and my, you know, my legs are good. So this is one of the places where I train for my mud runs. How would my friends sum me up? Well, they definitely say that I'm athletic, that I'm outgoing and I'm competitive. They'd also most likely say that I have a lot of quirks. And they probably have more than a few interesting stories about my escapades. So that'd probably be how my friends sum me up in a nutshell. What's one unique thing about me? Well, I served as a missionary for two years in the middle of the Amazon. Served in a place called Tefe, Padanchins, Manaus. While I was there, I did everything from marry couples to build houses to tear down houses to refurbish schools. So I learned a lot there. Then I picked up Portuguese off the street, so I have a very unique accent for an American. I can impersonate a Brazilian flawlessly, which is quite entertaining in conversation. But the thing that I definitely learned while I was there was uh, suffering through things. While I was there, I nearly died from a bacterial infection I'd gotten, and the reason why I couldn't get the medication I needed is because the closest hospital was a week away by boat. Why do I want to compete on the Unbreakable? Well, I think it's an opportunity to be able to push myself, to be able to do something that I've never done before, and I've always loved doing stuff that's outdoors and difficult and generally physically tiring and exhausting. The worse it is, the better the story. I've always done stuff like that, and I've always wanted to do stuff like that. For instance, I watched a show called The Alaskan Experience. If you've ever seen it before, it basically took 10 random people and threw them in the middle of Alaska. Every single episode I watched, I was absolutely enthralled, and I was kicking myself wishing I was there, wishing I was crossing that horrible tundra, starving while falling in an icy cold river. To me, that's the coolest thing possible, and this seems like an opportunity for something along those lines. I mean, the only thing I know about this show is it's probably along the lines of Spartan Race, and I'll be left with a backpack in the middle of Vermont. What is cooler than that? So that's pretty much my opinion on that topic.